never not surreal when yeah. you're on the show. And so to get to do it for seven years, it just it, it kind of means everything. The two best weeks of my life so far have been my honeymoon was number one, and number two was SNL. It's like comedy fantasy camp right now. It's like getting to meet everybody that you grew up loving. Yeah, New York. People that you didn't work with that were in different years, there's still such a you bond like with your fraternity. Yeah. But, but there's no like keggers or like <laughs> topless, well there's a couple oh, topless girls. Yeah. I am sincerely excited to actually have uh, some conversing time with Eddie Murphy. I just met Eddie Murphy uh, yet last night, which was a big deal. I just got hugged by Paul McCartney and Paul Simon within five minutes, and I thought I was going to pass out. What would you say is your favorite, favorite iconic skit? I was there for a long time, but uh, I guess probably Amy Poehler rapping next to Governor Sarah Palin. That's probably my favorite. Of the media elite, she likes red me. Shoot a mother humping moose eight days of the week. Unfrozen caveman lawyer, Phil Hartman. That was my favorite. That was my favorite. That was the one I saw growing up, and I was like, wow. I used to imitate that. I would record myself doing it. Yeah, I love that. Oh. It's an old school school clip of you. Let's see if you'll remember it. And that's what. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> Some of my people I work with, um, that is David, I think, and I think the other guy's name is Scott. Scott. Oh, so young, so skinny. You look tiny. <laughs> I do. I look tiny. The mango juice? I think that's a term of, of uh, oh, look at me. Who are you? I look very attractive. Makes me feel like I'm good enough to eat. I could have played Tom Cruise, right? There we go. Yeah. Quiet. Yeah. You're thinking a really tall, curly-headed Tom Cruise. <laughs> do you remember this? I don't remember it at all. Were you sober? I was drunk. Ha <laughs> ha